This is Michelle Knight and welcome to your April astrology. For all signs it's going to be a pretty intense month. It's a month of going backwards and dealing with the past as not only do we have Mercury going retrograde, we have Pluto, Lord of Transformation going retrograde and we have Mars, Planet of Action going retrograde, going backwards. We're all being pulled into the past. On top of that we have an incredible star of David. Now, some astrologers may disagree with me, but if you count Vesta and Juno, we do have a Star of David, and I believe we can tune into that energy. Here is your very magical April Astrology. I heard you say, meet you in the long grass, something good at long last, and we're away. This month is full of adventure and expansion for you and learning, but it's also about finding the time when you need to, to be still and actually learning the power of stillness, which is something quite difficult for you sometimes. Kicks off with Venus, the planet of love, going into that very position of expansion, of travel, of learning, of, of being hungry to experience something different and to stretch yourself. So it could be that you travel with a lover or you may meet someone eccentric and unusual and have an adventure with them. But it's asking you to look at your love life, look at your view of love and relationships and see what the next step is. See how you can shift and move that energy on. Even if you're happy, it's about exploring the world with your lover, exploring different ideas and trying new things. On top of that, we have a new moon in that energy something's happening for you you are stepping out of your comfort zone you're letting go of old ideas and you're experiencing something different this month something that teaches you something something that fulfills your desires to, to learn new things and, and see new things and be part of something different you're feeling very kind of passionate about life we also have Mercury, the planet of communication, going into your position uh, of career. So you're maybe pushing the boundaries when it comes to your career, but you're communicating in a way that's kind of very clear and, and, and very direct and should have a little bit of magic when it comes to your career this month. But bear in mind, Mercury, the planet of communication, does go retrograde, does go backwards at the end of this month. So any negotiations you've got career-wise, now is the time to get on with it. We then have Venus trining Mars on the 12th and it's a great day for love and, and fun and enjoyment in general and you're feeling very frisky indeed around that time. And that leads us nicely onto the 13th, which I believe is an incredibly magical day. Not only do we have the Star of David, if you include Juno and Vesta, we also have the Mystic Rectangle. This is powerful times. Many astrologers may disagree with me, but I have found that these energies are working on us to enlighten us, to evolve us, to give us a fast track to really shifting our vibration. So pay attention to that day. And for you in particular, we have Vesta conjunct Mercury, trine Jupiter, and that's all connected to your feeling good about your career and maybe coming up with an idea or suddenly having a revelation when it comes to that area of your life. And also just feeling that you can sort things out when it comes to your finance and your stability, but it's it's kind of deeper than that. It, it works on your spirit. And the mystic rectangle, well, is putting you in touch with your need to be healthy and to be strong so that you can go forward and experience the things that you want to experience this month. Now, Mars is going retrograde on the 17th, and it's a bit of a pain in the bum, quite a rare thing. I mean, it kind of drags our energy backwards in a way, and it gives us less va 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 voom. And for you, it's in your position of pleasure. If you've been overdoing it, you may be looking at that, or you may be going back and enjoying things that you used to enjoy when you were younger, some physical things that you used to enjoy when you were younger, or things that maybe you've let go of. It doesn't have to be like a negative thing. It can be actually quite positive, rediscovering something from our past and what was useful for our physical vitality and energy. And now we have Pluto going retrograde as well, and it is in your position of health and well-being and work. So it may be that you have to start from scratch. You may be going through some fears about your physical being and it may be showing you a way forward to heal and transform. We have a full moon on the 22nd that's making you very intuitive when it comes to your home and your family and you may feel the need to be kutched up and at home with 
those closest to you around you and you have this great emotional feeling around the people close to you around that date. And then we have on the 28th, Mercury going retrograde. So before the 28th, make sure you do everything that you need to do to transform your career, to communicate what you want to communicate, and then just be a little bit careful of signing contracts or, or committing to things after that date. Venus enters your position of career on the 29th, so there's still a feel-good energy around your career. Take care, have a stunning month, and I'll see you. If you like this, please come to my website where there's thousands of articles from Psychic to Soulmate and lots of free tarot readings, www.michellenight.com. And for all the written astrology of this month, week, or even day, go to horoscope.co.uk. Take care.